Hi, welcome back. You know what I noticed is the title screen, it got happy. I restarted the game because this is a new day of recording and the title screen is like, the music is happier and Toriel's there reading her nice book with her little one pixel smile on her face because I'm a pacifist in this run and that's nice and makes me never want to hurt anybody ever again. Now, this puzzle I solved off camera because I didn't want to sit here trying to solve it for two hours. Um, it actually didn't take me that long. You kind of just have to do spirals, but is is a nice puzzle, a nice ice puzzle. Honestly, it's not really the most innovative puzzle in the world, but hey, it's not what we're here for. We're here for making friends with dogs. And what was that? Okay. Uh, I'm gonna go down. And here's my friend. What's up? I, I don't really have the ability to answer you, so I'm sorry. Could I go right? Whoops. What is that? Gift trot. Undecorate. No, I will decorate him. I added some googly eyes that I found on the ground. Gosh darn teenage googly eyes. Is this just, like Santa's reindeer? That... How is that even avoidable? Okay. Um... Gift. He refused my gift! How do I know it's not a trick? I don't know. Oh. Hmm. I'm gonna continue to decorate him. You can't improve on perfection. Uh... uh okay. Then, undecorate. Now he can see. Thanks for nothing. <laughs> Thanks for putting me back exactly the way that I already was. What if I undecorate now? I removed the striped cane that says I use this tiny cane to walk on it. That's a little better. Oh, he doesn't want to be decorated. He just wants to be a normal reindeer. He doesn't want to be Christmas. I removed the box of non-dog related raisins. Yeah, I guess he does have to take off all his decorations. I removed the stocking filled with chicken nuggets. A weight has been lifted. Gift Trot's problems have been taken away. I don't really see in what universe a stocking full of chicken nuggets could be considered a problem, but fine if you say so. What a tiny doghouse. Shit, I'm not sure which way to go. I don't want to go the right way accidentally and like lock myself out of the other way. That's a puppy. In the snow. A big armor puppy. <laughs> I love him. He didn't get any less cute. It's the greater dog. Uh, let's see. Six attack, four defense. It's so excited that it thinks it's fighting. That it thinks fighting is just play. At, oh my god. This... I don't know if you're hearing this song. I don't know if it's loud enough on the capture, but... This is one of the best songs I've ever heard in my life. Anyway. I pet him. I just pet the air. Damn. <laughs> He's so friendly. Um, Play with him. Greater dog is not excited enough to play with. Shit, how do I excite a dog? By petting him, but I'm too far away to pet him. My life is at a crossroads. Beckon? I call the greater dog. It bounds towards you, flecking slobber into your face. Oh god, oh, no. How do I avoid that? Didn't it say that if I don't move, I'll be, I'll be able to avoid blue things? I think that was blue. No. Oh, it's only blue sometimes. Shit. It's really hard for me to tell the difference between the blue and the white, actually, but whatever. I make a snowball and throw it for the dog to fetch. It splats on the ground. Greater dog picks up all the snow in the area and brings it to you. Now dog is very tired. It rests its head on you. On, on me. Then stop barking at me. Pet. As you pet the dog, it sinks its entire weight into you. 
Your movement's slow. But, you still haven't pet enough! Oh, got it. Pet! You pet decisively. Pet capacity reaches 100%. The dog flops over with its legs hanging in the air. Then stop barking at me. Okay, now I should be able to spare it, right? Yeah. Hell yeah. Friend! How were you even controlling that entire suit of armor? Never mind. I don't care. It's fine. I feel like this is the right way. I'm gonna go down first. Sorry, I keep going back and forth, but I have to make sure I don't lock myself out of this bottom route. And I should also go back to that save point and heal real quick. Because... Otherwise, I'm probably gonna die in the next battle. And I really don't want to do that. I also don't want to waste any items healing, because I've heard that the later battles in the... Shit! I didn't mean to do that. I've heard that the later battles in this game are really, really difficult if you try to do them without fighting. Because um, obviously not fighting is harder than fighting. So, yeah, we're gonna try to do that. But first we're gonna go down and hang out with our friend Sans, who is not here anymore. Where did he go? Man. No, no, I didn't mean to decorate. I meant to undecorate. Help. Undecorate. Usually, a turn-based RPG would be terrible for a Let's Play, because I really, you know, there's no way of skipping these battles. But I feel like they're infrequent enough, and they're actually pretty fun in terms of the, uh, like, shoot 'em up mechanic. Not that I'm shooting anything, but... Yeah. 20 gold, okay. Now, whatever the hell is in here. Both ways seem like the right way, but I'm not backtracking now, so I'm just gonna stick with this. Mm, what? I don't know, do you have to only turn on certain ones? Ah, maybe I should have gone the other way first. Well, alright, back over there. You know what, I'm gonna just fast forward this so you don't have to worry about it. Okay, and now we're back over here. Which is a very long bridge. And there's my friend Papyrus, who I'm going to kiss this episode if it kills me, and it, and it might kill me. Behold, the Gauntlet of Deadly Terror. One of those is a dog. When I say the word, it will fully activate. Cannons will fire, spikes will swing, blades will slice. Each part will swing violently up and down. Only the tiniest chance of victory will remain. Are you ready? Because I am about to do it. I love that dog just gently swinging back and forth in the breeze. I'm, I'm about to activate it now. I think he forgot the, the word. I think he forgot the word. This challenge, it seems, maybe, too easy to defeat the human with. Yeah, we can't use this one. I'm a skeleton with standards. My puzzles are very fair, and my traps are expertly cooked. But this method is too direct. No class at all. Away it goes. Bye, dog. See you later. Papyrus is nice. He's a good friend. He likes me. He want to be my friend. He want to kiss me. What's up, Stans? I don't know what my brother's gonna do now. If I were you, I'd make sure I understand blue attacks. Alright. Time to fight Papyrus, and by fight Papyrus, I mean kiss Papyrus. Welcome to Snowden Town. A shop? Oh yeah, forgot there was money in this game. Been collecting it for a while and hadn't really had a chance to spend it. Um, I'll put the snowman piece in the box. Because I'm definitely not going to eat him. I don't want to eat him by accident. Oh, whoa. The style is cool. Um, what's up? Hi, welcome to Snowden. Can't remember the last time I saw a fresh face around here. Where did you come from? The capital? 
You don't look like a tourist. Are you here by yourself? Uh, what's up? What's here? You wanna know what to do in Snowden? Yeah. Grillbees has food, and the library has information, and if you're tired, you can take a nap at the inn. Wow. So encompassing. You can sit outside and watch those wacky skeletons do their thing. I like how that's just a staple of this town. They're like the accidental entertainers. The town has gotten a lot more interesting since then. Think back to your history class. A long time ago, monsters lived in the ruins back there in the forest. Long story short, we all decided to leave the ruins and head for the end of the caverns. Along the way, some fuzzy folk decided they liked the cold and set up camp in Snowden. Oh, and don't think about trying to explore the ruins. The door's been locked for ages. So unless you're a ghost or can burrow into the door, forget about it. Maybe I can become a ghost, and then I can date the skeleton. We all know deep down that freedom is coming, don't we? As long as we got that hope, we can grit our teeth and face the same struggles day after day. That's life, ain't it? Ain't it? I don't know. Ain't it? <laughs> I don't know how it works where you come from, but if I started spending money on old branches and used bandages, I'd be out of business in a jiffy. <laughs> that is the best reaction to a cell command in an RPG that I've ever seen. Um, oh, I can get some defense. That's good. Uh, so I'll get a cinnamon bun and a manly bandana. Nice. See you later. I have enough items, honestly. And you never really have to, like, grind or anything, but I still don't want to... Oh, I had a ribbon on already. But I'm sure the bandana is better. What's the stats on the ribbon? It's probably, like, plus nothing. I know, it's plus three. So the bandana's only a little bit better. Anyway. I don't need the inn. Wait, why would I need the inn if the save point heals me? It must be something cute. It's certainly something cute. Mom says that sleeping can recover your health above your maximum HP. What's maximum HP? I don't know, I'm just a tiny rabbit. <laughs> okay, so, oh, that's kind of expensive though. Nah, I'm good. I'm just gonna explore your hotel without your permission. No, I can't go upstairs. That's fine. That's fine, that's fine. I didn't want to anyway. Don't wanna walk to the other side of town? Try the under snow tunnels. They're efficiently laid out. Whoa, this town is actually really big. I don't know, part of me keeps underestimating how big this game is. It's so nice to... Hold on, I'm gonna take a... I'm gonna... Takele? Takele? <laughs> I was gonna say take, and then tackle. I'm gonna take this town in order. Isn't it my little cinnamon just the cutest? Bun buns are so adorable. Wait, is that your... Is that your pet, or is that your son? I can't really tell the difference. That lady over there. Something about her disturbs me. Maybe because she walks her son around on a leash? Awful teens tormented a local monster by decorating its tree-like horns. So we started giving that monster presents to make it feel better. Now it's a tradition to put presents underneath a decorated tree. Yeah, that's, that's how Christmas started, in real life too. Yo, you're a kid too, right? I can tell, because you're wearing a striped shirt. You're right. Kids only ever wear striped shirts. It's pretty much, uh... It's pretty much canon in all RPGs. Some of the presents are addressed from Santa to various locales. That polar bear is Santa. Don't tell anybody. This town doesn't have a mayor, but if there's ever a problem, a skeleton will tell a fish lady about it. That's politics! Yeah. Here's all my friends! All my doggos hanging out at one table. There are so many interesting fucking characters, I can't handle it. So many varied designs. Look at this mouth man, woman. Isn't human food different from monster food? It does things like spoil. And when you eat it, it passes all the way through your whole body. Disgusting. I'd love to try it sometime. Yeah, me too. The jukebox is broken. Capital's getting pretty crowded, so I've heard they're going to start moving here. 
Mm, I don't want to see the erasure of all of all. I can't talk. I don't want to see the erasure of our local culture, but I definitely want to see some city slickers slip into their butts, slip onto their butts. That would have been a very different situation if they slipped into their butts, their own butts or each other's butts. The Royal Guard, the elite military group led by Undyne. She's rude, loud, and beats up everybody who gets in her way. It's no wonder all the kids want to be like her when they grow up. Bartender, fix me a drink. I'm like 10 years old. Or something. I'm ageless. Grilbz. Is that his name? Grilbz? Said he'd offer you a glass of water, but he doesn't touch the stuff. His, his head is made of fire, so I understand why. Someone told me there are plenty of fish in the sea. Well, I'm taking that seriously. I'm literally going to make out with a fish. That explains the fishing line down there with a romantic photo attached to it. Puppy. Puppy, play, play poker with me. There's a bowl of dog food on your table, and I love you. Puppy. Puppy. Other puppy. We're sentries, but we never get any respect. I wish those skeletons would throw us a bone. We love bones. You better watch where you sit down in here, kid. Because that big guy will jump into your lap and give you lots of love and attention. I want to sit. I don't really have a lap. One of my legs is much bigger than the other one. But I still want a puppy friend. Spiked Collar makes a statement like, Attach a leash to me and take me for a walk, please. Man. What a badass. Look at all of these interesting friends. Everyone's always laughing and cracking jokes, trying to forget our modern crisis. Dreariness, crowding, lack of sunlight. I would join them, but I'm just not very funny. We all know the underground has problems, but we smile anyway. Why? We can't do anything, so why be morose about it? I just want to make friends with everybody. Um, let's save the library for next time. I feel like that's going to be a lot of reading. And I've already done a lot of reading in this episode. Um, oh god. Is this Papyrus's house? Sans's mailbox is full of fan mail. And Papyrus's is completely empty. Oh, friend. Oh, friend. Alright, next time we're gonna make the mistake of going in this house. It'll be worth it. <laughs>